So one of the biggest problems that we see at the beginning of the school year is really anxiety. And we see anxiety not just in the kids, but in the parents too. So sometimes parents get so worked up, they want things to go really well for their kids, that they inadvertently get really you know, tense and the kids pick up on it as well. So parents and kids alike would like things to go smoothly in terms of academics, in terms of friends and teachers, and so it, it tends to bring on a lot of worry. I think one of the best things parents can do to help their kids with anxiety and become more resilient is really to let them experience stress. And I think there's the pendulum's really swinging back towards that idea of not helicoptering in anymore, but really letting kids try to figure things out on their own and feel a bit of stress. Uh, in psychology, we call it stress inoculation. So the idea like vaccination, really that you get a little bit of stress or a little bit of the thing that's difficult or that you don't want to really have in large amounts and then your body learns how to cope with it, to tolerate it, you develop ways of, of, of really managing it and so that when in the future when other things come up you feel like, you know, I handled this well, I know what to do, I can handle future stresses as well. So I think that's one of the best things parents can do. At the same time, I think parents also need to support their kids in developing some coping strategies. So not just to leave them with the stress, but to say, you know, maybe we need to do some breathing to calm down. And I think finally, preparing kids for stress. So if you've never been to school before, it might be really helpful to go to the playground and climb on the equipment, or to talk through a little bit what a day in kindergarten looks like. Or again, if you're going to a new school, just prepping a little bit what that school might be like and having a look before the big day. I think that parents um, are our best observers really in knowing their kids and knowing when help is needed. I think just giving kids a bit of a chance to adjust to the new school year is always a good thing, but if parents see a lot of distress in their kid, not for a day, but it's really enduring, and that's, it's not just a little bit of stress, but it's quite intense, and there's a lot of tears and a lot of worry that's getting in the way of sleep and eating, really getting in the way of life, and your kid is not functioning the way they typically do, and it might even be acting all kinds of behavior, then I think it's definitely a good time to, to consult and get some help.